Good morning guys. We have made it to a place called Geelong, which is just outside Melbourne. And the reason we are here is because we are getting the ferry to Tasmania. I'm excited. It might look pretty small on the map, but it's a 10 hour ferry and we need to prepare some lunch, some food. And obviously we're up late, so we don't have much time. The only problem is Keely is still asleep. So we're gonna to have to go wake her up. Morning. Good morning. That's quite a bright light you brought in with you. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you excited? I'm excited, but I'm not ready. <laughs> I can't even open my eyes, the light's too bright. <laughs> what are you making me for breakfast? Um coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds perfect. <laughs> Just because it's like morning and traffic, uh, I'm not really awake, but we're going to just go and then we can like make coffee and stuff there. Just in case traffic's bad, we don't want to be late. Can you hurry up? We're going to miss this ferry. What? I'm not, I'm not ready for the world. Oh, guys. The world's not ready for you. Yeah. <laughs> so elegant. Oh my, I, the grace of a baby deer. <laughs> baby wheel. <laughs> Don't judge us. We're stopping at McDonald's for a sneaky coffee and maybe a hash brown. <gasps> yes, please. And maybe a poo. Okay, I was not expecting that. Can we expect a poo? Pretty sure most people know a poo's coming pet. Maybe you have a medical issue. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, false alarm. We're going to take Dango through the drive through because we can. It's such a novelty. This guy made me get out and walk and then walk back. Oh my goodness, you're so hard in. done by. But guys, pretty much everywhere in Australia has 2.0 height barrier, so it's quite nice to see a 2.5. Let's go get some coffee. This is such a novelty. Why am I excited about this? I don't know, because I could have already had a coffee in my hand by this point. So, because we have the tire on our roof, I think that brings us up to 2.3. Mm -hmm. So, the moment of truth. We did it. Yes, we did. Yes, guys. We thought when we bought this small van, we'll get a small one, we'll be able to like get in everywhere. No high barrier restrictions. Not true. 99% of high barriers do not let this small van in. Ooh, we're here. Hi, we're fixing it. Hi, good morning. Can I have um, two black coffees? So what's it? And um, two black coffees. Five coffees. And uh, no black coffee, sorry. One black. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Perfect. Yeah, thanks so much, you two. Thank you. Ooh, I didn't specify what size, so they just got me a large. <laughs> I've never drank a large coffee in my life. I mean, I think we're going to need it today. <laughs> Guys, also, there's a gas station here. How convenient. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be like pure chilling on this boat. We're going to be editing the entire time. <laughs> yeah, it's a Saturday, and this video is coming to you on Sunday. <laughs> if you missed it last week, we went back to Steve's and he gave Dingo a fresh service and four new tires. Changed the oil, did everything. Changed the wiper blades, bulbs and the works. <laughs> He's like a brand new van to drive. <laughs> we, we didn't even know we needed new wiper blades or bulbs. <laughs> we didn't know anything. Steve was like, oh, I did this for you. Oh, I did this for you. <laughs> so I'm excited to drive Dingo around Tassie. Guys, there's people rowing. Did you know that when Keely was in uni, she was part of the rowing club? <laughs> I also steered the boat and maybe once into a bridge. <laughs> Tasmania. 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 We're going to 
Tasmania. We're going to Tasmania. One of the things that I really wanted to do coming back to Australia was go to Tasmania. And we're doing it. I'm so excited for this. Okay. We are here. We are here. Where are we? We're here. Guys, there's a massive queue. Pretty much all of the, the camper vans and car vans that we see going through Geelong are here. <laughs> Hi, can you leave? Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Hello. Good, thank you. How many travelling in your car today? Just the two of us. No worries, I just need to make sure you've got two boarding passes there. Thank okay. you. Any fresh fruit or vegetables on board today? No. I've got a banana. Yeah, well, we were going to eat it on the boat. On the boat? Yeah, yeah. sure, you can do that. That's yeah. the um, To do that, all I'll do is I'll get someone from quarantine over in a moment and they'll give you a bit of paperwork that says you're taking a banana on a boat. Okay. It's easy. <laughs> it's, okay. It's, it sounds, sounds like a lot, but that's the process. I'll okay. uh, <laughs> you to quickly jump out and open the back of your van if that's sure thing. okay. Alright, so there's a lot of things that you're not allowed on. So he's taken our gas bottle and then he's given us a receipt so then we can pick it up on the other side. And then he's getting somebody else over because we have seeds. I mean, if he needs to take our seeds. I know, that's fine. That's fine. I don't care about that. But yeah, this is the process, guys. We're allowed our banana. Oh, they're all so lovely. Yeah, everyone's really nice. It's definitely a different experience from some fairy ports we've been into. Oh, my word. Guys, we got our banana slip. This piece of paper <laughs> says that I own a banana. <laughs> Oh, I kind of want to keep this <laughs> free of it. Right, I need to get out and make these friggin' sandwiches before we're out of time. Right, they're moving us up into them lanes. Okay, cool. Yes, once we get up there, then I think we should have like half an hour there. A uh, flipping better. It's going to take me half an hour to make an artisan sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we're making sandwiches. Yes, priorities. There's our banana. The culprit. Just so you guys are aware, while I've been making sandwiches, Philly has been frantically looking for our boarding pass because one of them has disappeared off the face of the earth. There's nowhere to be seen in the van. And obviously we can't get on without it. So he's now walking back to see if it fell out when we were getting checks done. So he's very stressed. But well, my sandwiches look cute. Look at these babies. So I take it you didn't find it? No, did you look again? No, I was making sandwiches. Hi, can we lose a boarding pass driving 50 meters? All right guys, crisis averted. Mm -hmm. Katie took her passport back and got a new boarding pass because Otherwise, I'd just have to leave without her. You know, and I kind of <laughs> like her enough for her to come to Tassie with me. You like her? You're all right. Most <laughs> like of the time. You. I like you too. <laughs> Woo! We're finally boarding the boat. I don't know why you're taking off your handbrake. We're not moving. Keely. You're, you're so keen. Everyone in front of us is, is starting to move. We're moving right now, Philly. Why have you not started the van already? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving. Guys, I'm so excited. I don't know what to say, but I'm really excited. Here we go. Boom. There you go. We're officially off mainland Australia. How's it feel? It's great. I'm super buzzed to sit in the boat for 10 hours. The problem is because it was late, we're now not, we won't be getting to Tasmania until like almost midnight. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. I'm excited! Oh my goodness. Hi, Dingo! So we found a place to sit. We're not even left the port yet and Keely wants to eat her sandwich. I'm hungry, guys. <laughs> Can I eat it? Yeah, why not? Yes! I mean, you'll just be hungry later. No, but I'm, I'm eating each. I'll have half of one now. Maybe a whole one. Just a little bit squished. Mm. Alright guys, it's about 10 hours later. We pretty much worked the entire time. And now I'm so tired. I'm so tired, Mom. I've, I've never been so excited about that. <laughs> We've packed up all our stuff and we're just pretty much waiting to get off now. Oh, 
dogs are so cute. All the dogs are so happy to see their owners. So it's actually quite cute. That's the way Keely acts when I come Hi, home. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> I'm so happy to see Dingo. So now we're just waiting to disembark. We have to get gas, so we need to go towards a BCF. So we're thinking we might just go and try and sleep in the car park. We're on the road. And it's official. We're on Tasmanian tarmac. They checked the back and she checked the fridge. And I'm very glad we actually checked the fridge ourselves. I was slightly concerned there in case there was going to be a rogue leaf or something. <laughs> a rogue leaf? <laughs> He's trying to smuggle a salad leaf. <laughs> Baby spinach leaf. <laughs> in prison. Oh dear. Tasmanian prison. Okay, so quarantine check, all good. Now we just got to go pick up our gas. Okay, off he goes. Into the wilderness. <laughs> it's so empty. Alright guys, who wants to review? That was probably the most shocker ferry that I've ever been on, but probably the most organised. Why are Australians just nice, man? 10 out of 10. We'll do again. Okay, let's get somewhere to sleep. Seven minutes to BCF. Hopefully there's no sign saying that we can't stay there. We'll see us there. Guys, we just can't get away from Bunnings. <laughs> People can't see it on the camera, but that's the Bunnings logo there, guys. Boom. Guys, we'll catch you in the morning. We're gonna go to sleep right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> No way. I kid you not, in between the two tables. How did that even happen? Hi! You can come to Tasmania after all. <laughs> we I, we'd have never find that. Oh my goodness. Okay, night guys. Good morning guys. Sorry if I'm a bit incoherent this morning. I literally just roll, roll, rolled, rolled. I just literally rolled out of bed. Per Keely has been up from 5 a.m. doing her math tuition because she's crazy like that. And for some reason, I'm really hyper. <laughs> <laughs> so last time you seen this, we're in a Bunnings car park, but things have changed. We actually spent the day on the coast yesterday and it was just getting very busy. I think a lot of people come off the ferry and just kind of hang around the coast and get their bearings. So we decided to come inland a bit to seek some peace and quiet and solitude. I think we're going to climb a mountain today. Yes, 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 yes. There is a place here called Cradle Mountain on Tasmania. And I was like, yeah, let's hike Cradle Mountain. Everyone says it's great. Um, we got to Cradle Mountain and it was an eight hour hike. <laughs> Maybe not. Not ready for that. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. I need to do little hikes to get my fitness up because, you know, I've been chilling. I've been chilling, guys. The mountain we're going to do today is called Mount Farrell. And it's a smaller mountain. It's a three hour round trip. So we're just going to get our bones warm, you know? So I obviously need a big breakfast, you know, because I love food. And then... I don't think it matters if we're climbing the mountain. And then, and then I'm going to make a packed lunch, even though it's three hours, you know, just in case. Just in case I need a snack. And then I'm like, ready! Oh my goodness. Guys, I literally don't know why I'm so hyper. I've had like four hours sleep. I had a coffee. That coffee. Oh. Okay, bye. I feel like you're just gonna randomly conk out in the track. I am. Once this, once this leaves my system. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face of a woman on a mission. Yeah. Whoa. I'm really not sure what to do with all this energy. Kale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> you so full of energy. I know it's morning. When I woke up for less, I was like, oh, and then you just gotta like, you know, put your game face on, so it's still on. So this is your game face? This is my game face. Yeah, guys, quadratic formula. <laughs> <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> oh, God, he bless us all. Okay. <laughs> friends, yeah. Yeah, you're my friend. Oh, he's my friend. Billy, we have a lot of bee friends, and I really want to be the friend, but I also really want them to piss off. <laughs> They just want to be your friend. Very cute. <laughs> okay, <laughs> friend. Breakfast is served. Um, usually I'd be happy to eat outside, but there's a lot of bees and I really can't. I just, I need to hide. I need to hide. So this hike starts from a place called Tula and Tula is just like a small little town. There's not really much happening. It's just you pass through it going south. 
but it does have a coffee shop. So before we hike, we're going to do that. I would like to say that it's just to support local business, but it's because my level of hype is starting to wane. So I need coffee. <laughs> also, I think we've got an alpaca. <laughs> Dingo's looking a little bit of a mess right now, but the priority is coffee. I'm just gonna leave this mess for now, and we'll figure it out when we get back. Stay safe. Another reason I wanna do a hike today is because it gives rain for like the next week. Yeah. So we need to stretch our bodies. Plus in Melbourne, we just haven't really been very active. So I'm excited to get a stretch what on. What are you talking about very active? This guy had us climbing three days in a row. True. <laughs> Can you see the alpaca? Where? No. Keep looking. Where? Oh my word, he's looking at me. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's people I'm gonna calm down, but guys, there's an alpaca looking at me. Hello. Hey, buddy. Thank you very much. Hey, buddy. That's amazing. Cleveland. Hello, Cleveland. <laughs> I hope you got that. <laughs> what was that for? What was that for? I still like him even though he doesn't like me. <laughs> Carrot in my eye. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the only coffee in town. <laughs> there you have it. Trust filling and Keely to be in the middle of nowhere and always find a coffee shop. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alpaca. <laughs> it's getting pretty late. It's getting pretty hot. We need to make some tracks. Bye, Dingo. Stay safe. Choose your weapon. Mm, that's maybe a bit short, even for me. A little bit third from the end. Looks a bit more majestic. Moses. You shall not pass. <laughs> Okay, this is nice. So I'm pretty sure people leave sticks here because there are parts of this trek with long grass and you're walking through bush and forest, so just to kind of, Get rid of ward the snakes. away snakes, yeah. Adventure! <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm already kind of regretting it. I'm glad about 10 steps back that way. But I've got to look after my heart, you know? I've got to do some physical activity every once in a while. Only blesses. I know it's a mountain, but what's with the hill? <laughs> <laughs> We're still at the car park. What was I thinking? Where did all the energy go? Died. Don't tell You're going me. too slow. Let's go. Don't come on. Pick, pick up, up the pace. Up pick up the pace, Keely. Come on. Picking up the pace will be picking up the stick in your gob. We'll, we'll, we'll walk 200 meters. Yeah. Exactly. I've walked. Whose idea was this? I know it was mine. I was like, we gotta look after our cardiovascular health. Let's move our bodies. I was obviously hyped on math tuition, so don't ever let me make decisions when I'm hyper on math again. High on math? Yeah. <laughs> Can you ever climb a mountain in Tasmania? You could do it. What was I thinking, Billy? You okay? It's like actually a real genuine struggle, like my heart hurts. Keely, yeah. look at the size of this tree. That tree's like... You really look like you're enjoying it. This is why I need to do this though, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. this is really not easy for me. And you are just like trundling along, loving life. La 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 la. Get out of my way, fool. <laughs> so apparently there's a fork in the road just at the ridge line. And the other path leads to a lake. So we're going to have to go and check that out on the way down. But at first, we're going to get to the top. So far this walk through the forest has been really cool. It's very biodiverse. 
but there's so many different types of plants and trees which keeps it really interesting and the track is just like this leafy dirt path so it really feels like you're on a, a jungle adventure yeah need a wee break just a wee one tell you what guys man i'm not fit <laughs> i am not fit at least you did it exactly exactly i'm i'm looking forward to getting to that lake though on the way back down all right, so we've been walking for about 40, 45 minutes. And I'm I pretty sure, yeah. I thought you were gonna say 40, 45 seconds. You've been crushing it. <laughs> Albeit slightly slow, but yeah. you've, been, you've been moving and that's all that matters. So from here, I think we're gonna come out of this forest and then we'll be on the ridge line. Ready to keep going? I'm ready, I'm ready. I got this, but. Because the forest is so dense, it's easy to see why there would be snakes around here. And apparently, Tasmania has three types of snake. The tiger snake, the copperhead, and the white lip snake. And they're all venomous. Oh, wow. So you gotta be careful. The other fun fact is that these snakes are more commonly active during the months of October and March. Okay, if so we're gonna see a snake here, it's gonna be around this time. Great. And it's gonna be venomous. Great. <laughs> Guys, I got my own stick. Forest, is it? This is where you gotta be careful of snakes. Oh wow, that's beautiful. And oh wow, that's hot. <laughs> that is hot. Sugar, my sugar, let's go, let's go. Guys, how beautiful is this? I know it's probably only gonna get better the higher up we go. But so far, just looking at those jagged mountains and the rolling hills is absolutely incredible. What the hell are we doing in the outback? <laughs> we could have been here this whole time. And the outback was an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the outback is its own thing. Yeah, it is. I was happy to do that and I'm also happy to be here. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I do love mountains. It's like I love the sea. But then mountains are pretty special, you know? Yeah, if there's only like a chairlift to get you to the top. No, I'm exercising my heart muscle. I'm, I'm doing it. Billy, Billy, there's a lot of waspy bee things around me. I'm really not vibing it. It's not a fan, not a fan, not a fan, not a fan! Sorry, not a fan, not a fan. I will help. It's getting pretty hot, guys. The Australian sun, man, like, it's really a force to be reckoned with, guys. It really zaps you. It's time to cream. What time is it? It's cream o'clock. Not today, son. Not today. All right, the sun has dipped behind the clouds, so we're gonna take advantage and get back on the track. We're almost at the ridge line, I think. And then from there, it's only like one and a half kilometers to the summit, maybe about half an hour, 40 minutes. So let's keep going. Keely, where are we? I'm so chuffed that we decided to do this hike. This is spectacular. Guys, I'm so chuffed, I'm so proud. But I tell you what, if that's the lake that I have to swim in, there ain't no way I'm hiking down there and hiking back up again, that is not happening. But I'm hiking this way. We're so close guys. Pretty much up around this rock. Come on Kevin. You got this. Got Smashing it. Well, we came up all the way from down there. Dunk, 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 dunk. I don't know the Rocky theme tune, but you get me. Whew. Whew. You're almost there. I'm stuck. Come on, you got this. Stuck. Are you stuck? Okay, I'm looking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Wowie. Well done. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yes, wind. Yes. I'm dead. Well done. Did I bring sweets? 
Guys, you can totally see why Tasmania would be a hiker's paradise. Mm -hmm. You're just surrounded by peaks so and summits. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so cool, isn't it? So green. You ready for a swim? Yeah, unfortunately our time at the top is going to be short-lived because the clouds are rolling in. Yeah, it's getting very misty. Guys, I got to the top of a friggin' mountain. Give me some strong arm and mountain emojis down below because that wasn't easy for me, but I did it. You did it? I did it. 2,000 meter elevation, that's crazy, well done. I'm pretty sure it's like 200, what is it, 500? <laughs> no, it's 600. Okay, I'm getting better guys. Each mountain, I'll just get better and better. That's the goal. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Guys, the wind is picking up. The weather is getting bad. We need to get down before the rain kicks in. Are you okay back there? I'm okay, I'm a champion. I'm a hiker now. <laughs> All right guys, we've just hit the crossroads to the lake. And to be honest, the temperature's kind of dropped a bit. Somebody did tell us on the way up that you never regret a swim. How's that? How's that? So <laughs> we're gonna put that to the test. Where is this leg? Keely? Yeah? The leg's looking a little bit shallow. <laughs> you first. <laughs> Next, looking a bit shallow, isn't it? <laughs> Keely. Yeah? The leg's looking a little bit shallow. Oh, for crying out loud. You first. I'm not doing this joke with you every time. Keely, the leg's looking a little bit shallow. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ooh, I see the leg. It's definitely looking less appealing now that the grey clouds and the wind have rolled in. But guys, come on. You never regret a swim, right? <laughs> oh yes, get me in that water. This looks amazing. Get me in. Wow. This is, this is gorgeous. fantastic. This is gorgeous. And the wind's died down. Is it cold? Icy cold, but in a good way. It's, it's Scotland cold, you know? Scotland cold? Yeah. It's actually pretty cold. No regrets. Woo! 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 You never regret a swim. That was incredible, wasn't it? That was our first Tasmania swim. That's so good. That was fantastic. Guys, if you're ever here, just hike up to this lake. It's amazing. Yeah, so good. It looks like we got here just in time because the rain is coming and the wind is back. From a crop top on the way up to a fleece on the way down. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite things that we've done in Australia. This whole hike has been so much fun. It's been so beautiful. I was hard, but I'm so proud that we did it. You're a champion. Thank you, so you. Right, guys, we're going to make our way down. It's probably going to take us about an hour and a half. Oh, barf. But we'll catch us at the bottom. Oh, oh let's do a key transition. To the bottom. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're home. We're back at Dingo. Thankfully, safe and sound. Do you have the keys? No, so don't even joke. I know you've got the keys. I do, do not have the keys. You have the keys. You locked it. I do not. Are have they the in your pocket? I don't have the keys. Keely, you've got the keys. I don't have the keys. Keely, you where are the keys? And you said stay safe. No. Keely, where are the keys, Keely? No, it's I'm not falling for it. You're so annoying. Guys, I'm ready for bed. Like, I'm absolutely pooped. <laughs> well, considering you were up at 5 a.m. this morning. I've been up since 5 a.m. doing math and, and I climbed a mountain. Who am I? Who are you? I don't know. I don't know this energy. <laughs> Guys, we don't even need to look for a Tasmanian devil because there's one right here. <laughs> Thanks for encouraging that. High on math worked. <laughs> high on math. I'm high on math. I'm about to be high on leftover, so let's go. <laughs> Come on in, darling. <laughs> on the legs. Just pull you by your bum. Yeah, that helps. Oh, my knees. I'm like jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be back in the van. I know. 
Why did we go on a hike? <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna eat some mushy leftovers, watch TV, and probably fall asleep ridiculously Ooh. early. See you in the morning. <laughs>